Hello guys, welcome to my channel, the DIY guy, hands on, where we get hands on. Today in this video, I want to show you guys how to marret two wires together, or in Canada, we say wire nut. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's strand wires or solid wire. Uh, I'm going to show you the technique, and it's pretty straightforward. The tools you'll need for this uh, project is a wire stripper and a pocket knife. And that's about it. So let's get started. Let's go. These are the wire nuts that we will be using in this video. The gray and the blue can take up to 300 volts, uh, but we usually use it with, uh, th for thermostat wires because it's smaller in size. Uh, the orange, yellow, and red can take up to 600 volt, uh, but we use it for 10, 12 gauge wire because these are bigger in size. You can fit uh, thicker wires in it. first problem we have with solid wire one is too short and one is too long for the one that's too long you want to dry fit your wire net over to see how much copper is sticking out that's about I would say a quarter inch so we'll cut a quarter inch off with the wire stripper and put the wire net over it again and you can see it's a good size now for the one that's too short we're got this since this is a 10 gauge wire, you're gonna fit it in the 10 gauge wire slot on the wire stripper, crimp it down, and use your thumb to push the insulation off the wire. There you go. So now we have two solid wires that will fall, that would fit perfectly in this red wire nut. I picked this one because this can take up to 600 volt and it can take the thicker wires. So first you wanna put the wire nut over it. and twist in a clockwise direction, which is tightening it. Once you can see your wire starts to twist, you know you have a good grip. So do, to, do a pull test, pull each wire to see if it comes out and the wire nut. So this one is pretty tight. We know we have a good grip. After that, use electrical tape to tape over it. The purpose of this is to make sure no moisture goes in and it holds the wire nut and the wire together better. And when you take these, leave a pigtail. What I mean by pigtail is this electrical tape that's sticking out. Twist it so it won't stick to anything else. So in the future, when you want to take this wire, this electrical tape off, you have this tail to pull it back. And you will never have to use your nail to try to fish where the opening is. The reason why we need a pocket knife in this project is to cut open the wire skin. Once you've got it open, for example, this thermostat wire, 18 gauge, there's usually a strand of uh, nylon wire in there. The purpose of this is once you got it cut open, you can pull on this and then the splice will keep on opening the skin so you have more access to these wires. And so you don't have to use the pocket knife to keep on cutting. Here is how to wire nut the strand wires together. After you got it to the right size, right length, you wanna twist the individual, individual strand wires till it's tight and there's no strand wires sticking out or missing. Once that's good, put it side by side, pre-twist it a little bit. Make sure it's flush on the top so when you put the wire nut, it can grab both wires. Same thing in a clockwise motion so it'll be tight. And once you see wire that's starting to twist together, you know you got a good grip. Do the pull test again individually and pull the wire nut. And this is good. After that, Put electrical tape and leave a pigtail. And pull it again. This is good. Here is where most people get into problems with is uh, when they're trying to wire not the solid wire with the strand wire. What you want to do is have the strand wire about one eighth longer than solid wire. 
and that will fix the issue. So what you wanna do is have the strand wire wrapped around the solid wire and make sure it's flush on top so the wire nut can grab both wires. And again, once you see two wires starts twisting together, you know you got a good grip. Pull test on each wire and pull the wire nut and if it doesn't come out, you can tape it up and we're good to go. So you might tell me you don't like to use the traditional wire nut because it's too hard or you're just not comfortable to use it. Let me introduce you to the Wago 221 connectors. There's two, three, five wire connectors. All you have to do is make sure your wires are at the right length. There's a little ruler on the side of the Wago connectors. Put it beside, put the wire next to it and make sure it's the right length. All you have to do is open the lever and put your wire in there. Pull the lever down and now it's just secure, it's tight. Same for the strand wires. Now you don't have to worry about getting the strand wire longer than the solid wire, all that. All you have to do, make sure it's the right thing. Pull the lever down. See, it's just tight ready. And you don't have to put electrical tape around it. Now, the cool feature about these Wago connector is there's an open slot right here. You can put your multimeter leads in it and test voltage and continuity all that because there's a metal bar underneath here connecting the two wires together compared to the traditional wire nuts if you want to check voltage here you will either have to stick the uh, test lead in it sometimes you might not get a good connection and you'll have to take the wire nut off to test it live and there's a chance that these two wires will separate and you might get a chance of electrocuting yourself that's about it guys thank you for watching i appreciate you guys staying here watching till the end a little bit about myself is i started in this trade about seven years ago for the first couple of years i started from picking up garbage and just changing filters no one or myself have ever thought i'll be using tools to, uh, to work and make money and feed my family uh, so if i can do it you guys can do it uh, don't forget to subscribe and like my video uh, more to come and see you guys later Bye.